What is your relationship with Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer as you sit here currently? They, for 30 years, they're a group. These aren't three random guys. The way that Ricky Smiley kept appearing at all of my auditions is because of Steven said he would tell anybody that, listen, they got a gang on that side. They know what it is. They know who the gang is. Why Earthquake not in movies? Because he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. Roddy Nation TV, welcome back to the channel. Fire, hot fire, just like the Jamaicans might say. Fire. You seen that in the beginning of this clip. Um, Shannon Sharp on his platform, Club Shay Shay, interviews Cat Williams, a comedy legend, a comedy great. I did not know Cat Williams was this intelligent, this smart. A lot of things that you people may think about Cat Williams may change your mind after you watch this video. Uh, I'm suggesting... Not my video, but after you, I'm suggesting that you go watch Club Shay Shay's interview with um, Cat Williams. It's a three hour long interview and it doesn't feel like three hours because he goes in, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if you guys are fans of Cat Williams. Cat Williams, I am. I'm a big fan of Cat Williams. I'm more of a fan after this interview. I have to tell you, I am more of a fan of this guy after this interview. Now, he goes in on a lot of comedy greats, starting with Kevin Hart, Stephen, uh, Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, and a bunch more. Thanks for stopping by, Kat. And I needed you to know why I came by. Yeah, I need you to tell us why. People know I don't go everywhere. I'm not interested in talking to people unless it's like a Larry King or somebody of an amazing ilk that I would actually want to go talk to in real life. Okay. Um, I don't do it so I can sell product and I got things to sell, so let me come talk. Um, you have a great product here, and as a fan base, we love the attention that you spend on the guests. We, we love how much work you've done, how well you know them, how prepared you are. The same things that we liked about you in football. <laughs> you brought that on over to here, and that's uh, why it resonates. And the reason I had to come is because you've made a safe place for the truth to be told. You know what I mean? Thank you. I appreciate and that. I have watched all of these low-brow comedians come here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. <laughs> I'm talking about things that have never been heard in all of black Hollywood. They feel comfortable sitting here and lying to you about it. You gonna set the record straight? Are you kidding me? You let Ricky Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday after next, the one I was in. <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled a bit when that happened. And, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in Hollywood. You ain't say nothing. But this man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was going to be Money Mike. Wait. And Cat Williams was going to be was going to be the Santa Claus. Now let's three quick points. Three quick. You mean in Hollywood they cast a 5 foot 5 black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. He was going to play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? Well, I didn't know he, he could... shouldn't be able. You wouldn't let a, 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 a athlete that been on steroids talk about one of the greats. <laughs> Ricky Smiley can't act because Ricky Smiley can't act. OK, like I said, I encourage you all to go watch the whole interview. Go watch the whole interview on Club Shay Shay. I'm just pointing out some of the some of the things that stood out to me in the interview, right? Like I like I said before, I think Cat Williams is a, a comedy great comedy legend. And after after just sitting down listening to him for three hours, you never get that, right? When's the last time you got there, got to sit down with your favorite comedian for three hours nonstop and him just being brutally honest. You never get that, right? Leave a comment in my comment section and, and let me know, do you believe what he's saying about Ricky Smiley? Uh, <laughs> that, man, this dude is funny. Not 
even in just casual conversation, he's funny, right? He's funny and intelligent, right? And I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out some of the things in the interview that, that really stood out for me and caught my attention. We're going to do one more, right? I'm going to let you listen to one more, and then we're going to get up out of here. And like I said before, I encourage y'all to go watch the whole interview. Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I, this is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have a range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know, I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got- I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you.